There is no peace until there is justice. That's a fact. But it's more complicated than it seems. Let's understand. When we speak about justice, the concept of justice is embedded within every human being. We have the sensitivity, regardless of religion. It can be an atheist. They can say, God doesn't exist. But if someone touches their money from their pocket, they will know that that is wrong. Am I right? They can be an atheist. If they see a big man beating up an old lady, they will know that that is such a cowardly act. What does this sense of justice, of right and wrong, come from? It comes from God. This is one of the greatest proofs of God's existence that we were created in His image and likeness is the sense of justice within us. But while we long for justice, at the same time, there is a thirst, yet it's as if it's impossible to obtain perfect justice in this life. Because when you look at the world, and you see so many injustices, and you are looking for justice, look how the justice of this world is presented to us. Someone kills the child of a person. They kill the child of that man. How will justice, human justice, repair this? Arresting the killer. Okay, and then will not take away the father's pain. Will the murdered son come back? You see that human justice, even if it worked perfectly, which is most certainly not the case, even if it worked, it would not be able to repair the damage and bring things back as they were, or to level what is unbalanced because of the injustices. Human justice cannot do that. How can human justice resolve the problem caused by a father who abandons the child with their mother? How can justice repair that? Justice created a food allowance, so the father pays a certain amount of money every month. But how can justice fix that? And on the other hand, how many women in this law created to repair an injustice, the injustice of a child being unattended by the father, how many women take advantage of this law for food allowance to deceive others, am I right? So you realize from this is that human justice it is a pathetic attempt to repair injustices. Pathetic one. Because it cannot do it. Not even scratch the injustices. So we have a dilemma, a great dilemma. On the one hand, the human heart is crying out for justice, crying out for wrong things to be fixed. This is a thirst, a cry that is not quiet within our chest. And on the other, we have only a poor representation of true justice in this world. How can we solve this? We know that justice in this world, we cannot expect much of it, so only God will bring perfect justice, and only Him will judge perfectly, because He's the perfect judge. In Him, there's no deceit, and all that He does is perfect. He shows no partiality between people. He does not judge the rich person with preference, he judges based on what his throne is based upon, which is justice. Only God can do that. So you need to believe in this justice from God. But then we bring another problem. 
Stay with me. Follow my reasoning. Do you believe in God's justice? Oh, Bishop, I do. Only God to perform justice. I believe that in the end, God would judge it all and would do all things right. Yes, this will bring a great problem to us because we will also be judged. Am I right? God's justice is not only for others. Or you only want justice for the others. Justice will also come to you. And then who will be standing before the divine court? Who will be able to go unscathed from the divine court? So you understand that even believing in the perfect justice, the divine justice, you bring justice to yourself, a justice that will condemn you to, because you failed as we all fail. Therefore, now you understand, and this is the point I wanted to make. Divine justice in its perfection provides something to solve this dilemma, something called forgiveness. Only forgiveness can solve all this. Because, for example, when we have a chance before divine justice to plead innocence, we will be condemned just by that lie. You say you are innocent, you just lied again. We will have no chance before the divine court. However, when we show proof of our faith in the Lord Jesus, that we believed in the Lord Jesus, then our belief in Him gives us access to the payment for our sins that has brought us forgiveness. His blood paid and erased our sins. Paid and erased our sins. Therefore, this forgiveness solved our problem with justice. People say in this world, I'm clean before the justice. And nothing better than to be clean before man's justice, but above all, God's justice. With man's justice, it's not that hard, but it is with God's justice, but through the forgiveness that he gives through faith in the Lord Jesus. So see, the forgiveness is the only solution to the injustices we commit. If you don't forgive, you go on with the injustices in this world. You say you suffered injustice, that you were harmed, but if you don't forgive, you are part of the injustices. They committed injustice against you, and you do the same with others, and it goes on and on and on. That's how wars wage on because of lack of forgiveness. What is happening in Israel now? The missiles from drones that are attacking Israel. Where were they born? Was not born in a military base in the Islamic country. It was born in the hatred of a human heart that does not forgive the Jewish people. And the Jewish people in their sight say, if we are attacked, we will also obliterate our enemy. And so on and so forth. Where will this end? When everybody turns into dust. The only way to solve this problem, this ancient problem between Jews and Arabics, or any other nations that there are, and they are at war against each other, Ukraine and Russia, for instance, the only way to solve a war, whether in the level of nations against nations, or parents against children, is if somebody conceive forgiveness, if someone decides to say, I forgive you, and then war is over. Am I right? But do people want that? No. They prefer to turn to dust.
Only God gives perfect forgiveness, and because He gives it to us, the least expects from us is that we also give it to others. That's why Jesus said in many teachings that if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. If I was forgiven by God, my moral obligation, if I am right in the head, my moral obligation is to forgive those who harm me. Or at least to have the intelligence to forgive those who harm me, I won't be forgiven by God. So the big loser will be me. And I don't want to be condemned. I don't want to hear the gavel in the court being against me. Do you want to hear the gavel of the righteous judge against you and you to be condemned eternally to be far from God? I don't want that. And that is why I forgive. Without justice, there is no peace. But without forgiveness, there is no perfect justice. If today's video helped you and you know someone that could benefit from it, share it with them. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you may do so now. See you later.